Today on the Garage Fathers, we're checking out this short bed dent side Ford with perfect patina. And spoiler alert, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. All right, folks, the big swag from Monster Garage. Listen, in the heart of California, two hardcore enthusiasts have started a business like no other. These guys build, drive, and insure some of the baddest cars on the planet. Their list of clients range from the struggling college student to the rich and famous. They take the proceeds from their agency and dedicate it to the rescue, rehab, and rehoming of forgotten collector vehicles. Their office is a diner. Their shop is a showroom. They are the garage. Garage Fathers. We were recently at a car show and stumbled across this sweet patinaed little Ford and were completely blown away and I couldn't be more excited to have this truck and our new friend Avelino in the studio today. Avelino? How you doing? Good to see you again, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to drive down. Not a problem. Let's sit down and talk about it some more, yeah? Sounds like a plan. All right. Avelino, man, the truck is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's something else. Thanks for bringing it down. But I wanted to learn a little bit more about you. You know, usually when we do a feature, I already know somebody uh, better than, than I do. So, so uh, how did you get wrapped up in this crazy car world? Um, I had bought, I grew up on a dairy and my parents, my dad had a truck, you know, uh -huh. and I loved the rumble, loved the noise. Yeah. And um, was it, it, fast? Was, it, it was, it had a big block in it, you know? Nice. And, um, I just, and then he had a Mercury Cyclone with the big block in it, and I just loved the noise, you know, the going fast, the speed, the acceleration. Right. And then I uh, <clears throat> came across this truck, and I was like, huh, I'm gonna do the same thing to this truck. Nice. You know, see what happens. Now, was it already built like this when you when you got it? When I got the truck, it was not. Oh, okay. So I did some modifications to it, uh -huh. you know, any project, yeah. and, um, just to have fun, yeah. see where it goes. That's awesome, that's awesome. Now, um, this is something you took it to a shop to do or you kind of did it at the home garage or? Um, no, I had my brother help me. He has okay. a shop and yeah. so we did at his house yeah. in the backyard basically, yeah. garage awesome. flying, garage work. Yeah. So, cool. and he has all the tools and we did everything there in his shop. Wow, you that know. that sounds like a great time. now. What was, paint a middle picture for us what the truck looked like when you picked it up. Uh, so when I picked it up, it was sitting in somebody's backyard for years. Um, it had a camper shell on the back of it. The bed was full of leaves and the spare tire, all the tires were flat on it. Um, the windows were open, just a mess, just a mess. And completely stock? Completely stock. What engine was it? It had a 360 FE. Okay. And we've replaced that now. We've, huh? It's replaced. <laughs> it's replaced. Right. Now, as you were building the truck, did you run into any particular challenges or anything like that? I know everybody does, you know? Um, yeah, you know, when you make such a modification to something like this, you know, you gotta cut here, weld there. You know, you run into a 50-year-old truck and you have a cracked frame, you mm. know, and just a lot of work everywhere. Yeah. Body bolts broken, so you just gotta work at it and get it done. Sure. And for you guys at home, underneath the underneath 
side of this truck is far cleaner than the top side, you yes. would say, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Now, what, what did you do to, uh, to make it so sanitary under there? Um, we had boxed in the frame and dimple dyed it, the frame, and then we made our own transmission mount nice. for it, so, because we changed everything. So, just a little bit of, make it look, and it's all black. It looks nice, clean black, you yeah. know, so, yeah. I'm happy with it. I'm awesome. Well, let's go take a closer look at it, shall sounds we? Like, sounds like a plan. All right, let's do that. Yeah, so obviously the first thing you notice, one of the first things you notice is the mismatched wheel thing, which to me looks like it's by design. Am I, uh, am I mistaken there? Or? Well, it's like this because um, it's supposed to be just a roller at first, and then, you know, I gotta fix, change everything and make it the way I want it first. So it's, no, it's not, it's not designed right now. This is the roller. Are you there? There's a, these are a 17 inch, are they? 18 yes. inch? So you probably have a bigger brake in there, I would imagine? Yes. Okay. You gotta have that stopping power for what we have. Yeah, I, 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 I bet we do. <laughs> huh? You guys are in for a treat when we get under the hood of this thing. I can't wait for them to see it. Um, but I love the patina on this truck. It's, the, it's my favorite thing about it. To me, it's perfect. Um, now, is this an XLT truck or? Yes, it's the XLT Ranger. Do Custom you... Ranger, sorry. And I'm not sure, no, that's okay. I'm, I'm not sure what those options were. Like, I know, like our truck doesn't have this stainless trim down the dent, on the dent side. I don't know, I don't know the whole story about everything, uh -huh. but somebody told me that being the XLT Custom, it comes with a okay. trim on the bottom. Okay, and around the wheel wells? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I, it, you know, back there, they're trying to impress everybody with sure. something little. Yeah, <laughs> right? Can we take a look inside? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Looks like you've had the seat redone. I've done their seat. Uh -huh. Put some a door panel, factory door panels back on it because the ones that were on it were broken. Okay, nice. Um, put some gauges in there. The AC unit, uh -huh. little. So you got AC and heat in here. AC and heat. Nice aftermarket stereo. Uh, uh yes, it's aftermarket. Uh -huh. Little AM FM radio in there. Yeah, that's cool. That so. seat's nice. Did you? Did you? Is that the stock seat you had redone, or? Um, yes, it's a, it's a stock seat that I had redone. A stock seat. I got gotcha. you. So, right. yeah. yeah, yeah, very cool. Looks like. You're still doing a little finishing touches with a few things. New dash pad? New dash pad. Nice. I got a lot more work to do. <laughs> a lot more work. Put some speakers in right here in the corner. Behind here, I still gotta wire it up. So oh, yeah. when I put the dynamat in the floor, then I'm gonna put the speaker wire on top of it. So nice. Maybe don't, you know, under, under the carpet. Yeah. So it's still under construction, under guys. Under construction. Yeah, like like they all are. Come on, they're never done, are they? It's a daily, it's a daily driver, so you never have time to work on it. And, <laughs> and it looks like you're hauling some lumber today, Avelino. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Not very much for this truck. Is um, it for ballast? Oh, it's not a not a complete block. No, it's uh, when I bought the truck. Like I said, it had a camper shell on it, and this was inside of there. <laughs> you know, because back in the '70s, you were able to ride in the back of your truck mm -hmm. with no worries and. Now California's changed the laws in that. <laughs> yeah. See, I love seeing this. When I was growing up, we didn't have a family car. My dad had one of these in a long bed with a camper shell, and that was our family car. Yeah, I left it in here because I like it, and my kids like to be in there. When I take the truck to the car show, they like sitting on here and just horsing around inside the truck. Nice. So I might leave it, I don't know yet, maybe take it out and put some bucket seats in here. Still, I don't know. It's... Yeah. There's a lot to do with this truck still, so. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do much more if it yeah. was mine. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then back here, it looks like we've got one of my all time favorite wheels, the, uh, the slotted mag, or the, do you know, are these Anson's or? No, I don't know, yeah. this, is what, this is what they came with. Okay. Um, yeah. They're gonna get changed out, because I 
think I'm gonna change the rear end to the 8.8. .8. So instead of putting the disc brake adapters on here on for the screen. nine inch, yeah. I'll have the 8.8, .8, which is already modified for the mm -hmm. disc brakes for it. So. Right, right. That's a good call. And you know what? I'm real proud of you, Avelino, because it shows great restraint. You have, you're a man of great restraint that you still have tread on this tire. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to keep tread on those tires. <laughs> I'll bet. Trust me. I'll bet. This is probably your seventh set, huh? <laughs> Close. I'm working up to there. I'm not nice. quite there, but I'm working it. So. Yeah. And you got your Barden bumper here still, I see. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that or paint it black. Maybe take it in and get it dipped in chrome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. The old farm truck bumper. Yeah. I mean, the, the truck is really, really straight for a truck that, you know, you kind of just pulled out of the field, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was happy when I, like I said, when I got it, I was just like, ah. A lot of work because of the camper shell and the dirt in the back and the windows being open, the cracked seats, and, and then when you just start working on it and cleaning into it, it's, just, it's like, oh, that ain't too bad after all, yeah. you know? It's just fun. Yeah. Let's take a look on inside over here, shall we? Yeah. Well, we got one of those uh, non-GM, right? Non-GM steering column? No, nope, it is GM. Oh, okay. I had a, did it come out of a specific car? Or? It did not. I bought it on eBay. Oh, that's not a GM. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's an eBay. Yeah, it's oh, an eBay it's column. It's still all for it, guys. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and you've got some pretty nice looking gauges there. What? What are those? Those are digital? Uh, Dakota digital gauges. Okay. And then, like I said, I have the Tosca Auto Air nice. for air conditioning. Okay. And heat, because California yeah. gets hot in the summertime. You got to have the air conditioner running all the time. Yeah. You know, and I'm so excited for these guys to see under the hood, but we should tease them a little bit first. Do you want to get in and fire it up? Mm -hmm. Let them hear the exhaust note and see if they can make a guess. Now you guys can place your bets. Leave a comment below to let us know what you think is under the hood of this fantastic Ford. While you're at it, please make sure that you are subscribed and you're doing all that nonsense that you're supposed to do when you're watching a YouTube video that you're hopefully enjoying as much as we are. Let's take a look. Thank you. How about that, guys? It's a twin turbo OLS, right? Not even close, <laughs> not even close. <laughs> So what do we have here? We have the uh, 2020 Coyote engine in here. <sighs> Coyote. Oh, that's that's awesome. Now is this a Mustang? Yes. Coyote original. It's a Mustang Coyote. Okay. Not a truck motor. Not the truck one. Did you get it from a Mustang, or is this a, uh, a uh, crate motor? Or? I. It came off of eBay. Okay. I bought it off eBay, but they labeled it as a Mustang. Uh huh. So okay. Had 11,000 miles on it when I purchased it. Nice. Now, it came with the supercharger on it, or you added it? I added the supercharger. Okay, nice. And what, what do we have here? What kind of supercharger? The Whipple. Whipple. That's a screw type or, or roots? I don't know if there's even a difference there. To be honest. I was just told to purchase this. My brother says, this is what we're <laughs> going to do. This is what we're going with, and so I bought it. Now, what type of boost does this thing put out? 10 pounds of boost is what it's running. Nice, nice. Uh, you ever have it on a dyno? I never have put on a dyno. What's the old seat dyno tell you? What do you think? Or do you want uh, to say? I don't want to know. I don't want to <laughs> say, you know, people yeah. enjoy it when they go for a ride. But um, yeah. we're yeah. guessing just a little bit more than stock. Yeah. Just a little bit more than stock. Sure. Yeah. Um, and in, it's an automatic. Is that is that a six speed or what? It's, it's a 10 speed. 10 speed on Wow, that's incredible. That's so incredible, This, the contrast in this vehicle, you know, with the old patina, and then what I would think is probably one of the most technical, technologically advanced engines on the market today. I mean, I, I love it. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to, to get out on the road with this thing. So are you saying that you want to ride it, or do you want to drive? You know, I, I never ask, but I never say no. <laughs> well, I'll let you, I'll let you go, I'll, I'll take you for a ride and then I'll let you drive it. That sounds awesome.
you guys okay? You gotta buckle up, oh my gosh. This old Ford is man. That was so awesome. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it out. I yeah, can't. No problem. I can't tell you the last time I remember having this much fun with a car. I mean, for a truck. A truck. <laughs> She's a lot of fun, that's for sure. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it out. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next episode of the Garage Fathers.